Okay, so as we move towards the end of section 9.3, it's reminding us of a bunch of things that happened in our previous trig class. So they're bringing up the polar form of a complex number, and one of the advantages of having a polar form of a complex number is demonstrated here in 9.3 number 38. If you remember, we're going to multiply these z times w. That's what they'd like us to do, and there's a very nice way for that to happen. What happens is you multiply the r's and add the angles, and that's it. So you've seen that already as you've read through the book. So all we have to do here is say, well, our new number out in front is going to be 4 times 2. That's our new r. So we're going to have an 8 sitting out in front. And now we need to get a new angle. And if you're okay, I'm going to use the CIS notation. Well, that new angle is going to be the addition of those angles. So we had 3 pi over 8 plus 9 pi over 16. And it, ha it doesn't matter what order we add, but technically it's in that order. And so i got to get this over 16. So this is 6 pi over 16, and this is 9 pi over 16. And if I add those together, we get 15 pi over 16. And that easily we can multiply two complex numbers together not going through a big FOIL process or anything the answer for the first part of 9.3 number 38 is 8 CIS 15 pi over 6 now there is a second part and the second part is to do the division and that's easy we're gonna take and divide the first two numbers so we're gonna get a 2 out in front and it's going to be CIS of the subtraction of the two. And so here's where it gets a little bit trickier. It's not much trickier, but they must be subtracted in this order where the Z angle is up top and the W angle is on the bottom. And so that's going to be 6 pi over 16 minus 9 pi over 16. And so we're going to come up with initially negative 3 pi over 16. Now most books won't put the negative answer in the back, although it doesn't seem to be any stipulation on the angle as I look at the directions. But negative 3 pi over 16, if we wrote that as a positive angle, remember that would be 3 pi over 16 back from... 32 pi over 16, right? 2 pi minus 3 pi over 16. Or 32 pi over 16 minus 3 pi over 16. And so in the back of the book, they're going to have 29 pi over 16. 29 pi over 16. And so that's our answer, CIS of 29 pi over 16. So we have the, our first answer of 8 cosine 15 pi over 6 plus i sine of 15 pi over 6. And for z divided by w, it's 2 cosine of 29 pi over 16 plus i sine of 29 pi over 16. Again, we they probably won't use the negative angle. They most likely will take that off of 2 pi like we would to get the positive result.